Hey, what's up everybody? It's a Craze Barn again, and today I'm going to be showcasing my map I call Gamut. Uh, this was actually featured in the Battle Royale just recently. Uh, if you were able to participate in that. The Battle Royale, if you don't even know what that is, uh, go check up check out iCleanup's channel. He does an excellent job. It's like a, a tournament. Uh, he's been doing it kind of bi-weekly now, which is awesome. Uh, I have only been able to participate in one though which it, uh, which was a free-for-all and I got to the second round of that so I, fortunately I did not win but against the players that I was actually playing against yeah I'm probably not gonna win but anyways it was fun to do um, so cleanup mentioned that he was going to do a 2v2 tournament and I said hey cleanup I got uh, uh, pretty much a map that's already set up for 2v2 because I made this map gamut specifically for very small maps or very small teams. Uh, it works well for 2v2. Uh, what you see here is actually 3v3 and I think it works really well for that. Um, I wouldn't go much more than that. I think 4v4 you're going to start to feel a little crowded. But other than that, I think the map plays really well. Now the game type you're watching is Ultra Slayer, which is a, another game type I created. And uh, I made that essentially to address uh, some of the inconsistencies and the complete randomness of power weapons and all that business that just drive you nuts sometimes. It drives me nuts. Uh, Infinity Slayer, you walk around the corner and guy got um, rockets or shotguns or scatter shots and you just have no idea what anybody's going to have now ultra slayer the game type is going to have all the power weapons on the map so you have to pick them up uh, to begin with which is awesome in my opinion it kind of brings back that old feel um, but it also introduces uh, or it takes makes use of the ordnance drops uh, it'll drop some ammo uh, and it'll change up your weapons if you want to um, a different kind of weapon like a suppressor or a assault rifle or anything like that and it also gives you ammo for the light rifle and uh, basically it really balances the uh, the core gameplay so you're not getting such random actions uh, throughout the entire game which that more than anything irritates me about Halo 4 and I love playing Halo 4 but the randomness just irritates even me and I've said that before <clears throat> I've posted in um, the forums all the time I think the randomness needs to go away uh, more or less this isn't a oh what is those the class shooters Halo is just not meant to be a class shooter it is meant to be this kind of thing a game that's fair balanced and uh, ready to go you got what you got from the beginning you have to earn everything else but anyways that's that a um, <clears throat> little bit more about this map here before I, I I made a couple changes at the end uh, at point I want to point out the changes I made I've actually updated my file share to incorporate those changes I actually watched uh, who was it Grim Reapers uh, video and I saw a couple things like yeah that needs to be fixed right there and I'll go into that so if you want to skip to the end um, well I'll put an annotation here so you can just skip right to the end uh, but I do got a couple other things I wanted to say here <clears throat> now, this map is actually set up also not just for Slayer it is set up for game types such as uh, CTF uh, that'll work on here and I'll show you exactly where the flag spawn I haven't seen any ga gameplay on this for CTF yet um, it also works for ricochet believe it or not uh, if you want to try that out and I think I have it set up also for oddball and king of the hill as well but intentionally it is set up specifically for capture the flag and um, Slayer for the majority. It's going to play best with those. A oh, Ricochet would probably work really well as, as well. Um, also, going on here, 
And uh, what actually inspired this map uh, design in particular was, believe it or not, real life actually inspired this map. Um, I actually went on a cruise and the design of the cruise ship had a really interesting design. Uh, it had one side was actually uh, very close to what you see in the map, or especially the original map. I made a lot of changes um, after working with cleanup on this, uh, getting it set up for Battle Royale. But the initial design was based upon that, which was really, honestly, it was balanced. I mean, that's what, I, I think that's what makes you a real Halo geek, in my opinion, I think, uh, is you you look at real life items and structures and architecture and you look at it and you go you know what that would kind of be fun to put into a map or make it or something like that to really take that design and move it into some sort of gameplay where you're killing other spartans on but yeah, that's kind of where i got inspired to do this particular design i was on a cruise ship I saw the architecture, I go, this would probably work. And I think it came out fairly well. Now, I also want to thank um, I clean up here, actually, for... Uh, he jumped on one night. Uh, we played with, I want to say, uh, Rapscallion and Impossible Brew. We did a quick gameplay. I got a better feel of the map on actual Battleground. And... Afterwards, we talked about it, said, yeah, this, this, and I think Impossible, it was either Impossible or Dragonaut, I'm not sure. But they basically, uh, especially, I think it was Impossible, he pointed out specific spots like, yep, I can get here, I can get here. He'd get into some odd little areas like, yeah, that needs to be fixed because that's not supposed to be happening. So I want to say thanks to those guys as well. But I want to say a special thanks, of course, to iCleanup for, uh, he pointed out a lot of things. He uh, inspired me to add some incredibly fun jumps to make on this map that work really well, I think. Um, so I incorporated that, and I'm actually working on another map I want to uh, try out very soon. I still got quite a bit of work yet to do. I think I only showed it to one Maybe two people so far, what I've got done so far. It's coming along. i got a ways to go yet, and I will showcase that as soon as I can. And hopefully get some gameplay and, of course, some feedback from you guys and anybody else that actually does get to be able to play on that map. <clears throat> oh, sorry, it's getting cold here in Wisconsin. I tell you, we got about uh, 20, 25 degrees below zero coming, 27 and wind chills, so they're talking wind chills up to minus 40, minus 50 degrees. It's like, ha ah, ha, yeah, this is going to be a nice couple days ahead of me. All right. <laughs> but anyways, I want to say thanks again to those guys for helping me out. And I want to say thanks again for you guys, too, because you honestly really reawokened up the Forger in me because it was just so fun creating that stuff. But... Not having anybody to play on it at the time just really was like, eh, you know, I'm just going to leave it go now. Now I got that inspiration back again, and it's just so fun. I get into Forge, jump online, check it out, see what I can come up with, see what I can come up with an interesting idea, and make it look good, or try to make it look good while I do it. And here's a nice quick awesome little double kill right there that was fun these guys were actually pretty decent um i think it was bullet time i think that's his gamer gamer tag he was doing a nice job i tell you what uh he was uh tearing up our team a little bit all right looks like the gameplay is just about ready to finish up and yes we do lose but this was so fun to play on i absolutely enjoyed it uh, I can't wait. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna have to do a game night some night. Very soon, I hope, if I can get it planned and set up together. Hopefully, the couple other YouTubers, um, at least, and just, uh, whoever's, uh, signed up to my Twitter, I'll do a tweet or something, say, hey, 
I'm jumping online now. We're we're doing some matches just for fun. I think that's going to be fun. I just don't know exactly when we're going to be able to do that. It's going to be a little bit of setting it up, and of course, with my work schedule um, and all that, and everybody's school and everything like it's not going to be exactly easy to set up. But we're going to try. I think I'm going to give it a really good shot to see what we can do for that. All right, now I'm going to go into the changes. Uh, if you just joined in because you hit the skip ahead button or whatever, this uh, is going to be rather quick. There's not a big amount of changes. I didn't change a whole lot, but there is a couple things. Now, right up here, I actually placed two plasma grenades, and what was up here was the rail gun. And I'll show you where I put that here in a second. Um, the biggest issue I had was that the overshield spawns up there. They can just run right over there and grab the rail gun without any consequence and get right back to cover. Now you're going to have to drop down uh, into the bottom area and go right here and pick up the rail gun and then get yourself back up to a higher ground. <clears throat> now this year actually I noticed on Grim Reapers is that it was so easy to fall right here in this corner. So actually what I did is I placed a forge piece, actually two forge pieces underneath and a soft kill zone there. So you will fall in that area, but you won't fall very far. You can survive it. Now this area right here is where the spawn is for the flags and the ricochet goals. And I actually placed these railings right here because I saw a couple people fall off and that wasn't exactly cool. So fix that. So hopefully it's going to work a lot better for you guys when you try it out on your own. All right. And I went over to the other side and, of course, did the same thing over here. Because you know what? You're playing and you're doing your thing. And the last thing you need to do is fall off the map without any type of uh, warning or whatever. So hopefully that will help. Uh, in future gameplay and over here I actually did one more thing is I actually extended this out just a bit not a lot just a little bit to increase the play size over here so it's going to have a little more room to uh, maneuver uh, do your strafes and etc so but that's about all the changes I made I again hope you enjoy this map uh, try it out for yourself and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and leave a like and of course subscribe uh, and stay tuned for the next map feature which will be coming very soon. Thanks guys, this is the Cray Spartan and I am out of here.